Good morning, everyone. Myself, Murli the Reddy. In this video, we are going to discussing about how to build and push the code to artifact. I mean, Warfel or Jarfel to artifact using Jenkins pipeline. Okay, earlier we did the manually. We, we have created a freestyle job and we push it right. So, in case if you want to do through Jenkins pipeline, how you can do, we'll see. Okay, let's see the demo. Uh, we have already I have installed the Nexus. Okay, and also this is our uh, repository. What is the repository? Repository name is build and push to artifact repository. We are going to this repository and we can configure in Jenkins pipeline. Okay, for that one, what you have to do? I'm taking that public IP uh, Jenkins. One second, I'm taking Jenkins IP. Yeah, I'm logging to that particular Jenkins. I will see here, I have logged in, okay? And also I have installed uh, plugins and also configured everything. Earlier we did that, manage Jenkins, I'm going to here, go to the install. Here, I have installed man plugin and also I have installed Nexus platform plugin and also we have configured inside that uh, configure system, I'm going to show you here. If you are not aware, please go through the earlier video, you'll get more idea, okay? Nexus also we have configured. Inside the Sonotype Nexus, we have configured everything and also we have tested the connectivity. It looks everything good. Okay. Next one, and also we have configured inside the global tool configuration the particular Maven Riglet stuff. Okay. If you observe here, Maven, here we have given the Maven 3.8.6. Okay. Got it right. Now we are going to create the pipeline. How can we create new item? Here you have to give the name. I'm giving here same name only. Example, I'm giving. Same build and uh, push to artifact. Okay. Next one here, I'm selecting the pipeline. Instead of creating freestyle job, I'm going to create the pipeline job. Select this pipeline job. Okay. Here, come down a little bit here. Yeah, here we have an option pipeline. Here we can do two ways. If you remember, we can uh, do through GUI or we can do through SCM, source code management. Means like uh, Jenkins file, we can declare inside the Bitbucket, Bit, uh, GitLab, GitHub. Okay, we can call that particular file. We can define that particular file path. Okay, currently I'm going to use pipeline script. Inside the pipeline script, I'm going to write inside the Jenkins, uh, this particular job, job level only, I'm going to write the script, okay? Example, I'm going to try sample pipeline. I'm using the pipeline, hello world. Okay, click this one. If you observe here, as I said, like pipeline agent, any agent means it is a declared pipeline, right? And I, we have a stages. In, inside the stages, I declare the stage. Stage name is hello. And I use the steps inside the steps. I use the echo command to print the particular content. Okay. I'm going to build it, build this content. Let's see, apply, save it. Okay. Fine. Now I'm build now. If you see here, the build is going on. If you click this one, the build is going on. Who is run? I, I run this particular uh, job. If you observe here, echo, we use the echo command, right? Echo command, it will be print the data. Okay. Fine. If you click here, now you can able to view the particular pipeline view. Okay, this is a stage. This is a one stage. Hello stage. We have run the particular sample one. We are able to view right now. What we will do? We will be clone the repository and we will build the code and we will be push that particular the uh, uh, in artifact because our application is warfare. If you go to insert palm.xml, if you see here, our it will be generated the warfare. Okay, fine. Now what I'm doing here? Go configure. First step is I'm going to do the clone, clone the repository. What I'm doing here now, first clone the repository. Instead of I'm de deleting here, clone repository, clone the repository. And then here I'm removing this uh, echo command because I want to configure uh, it, right? Clone the repository means it will be clone the particular GitHub repository, right? So what you have to do, if you are not aware how you can declare, we have an option here. You can click the pipeline syntax, open new tab. Okay, remember when you are doing initially, you can use snippet generator. Using this snippet generator, you can write your own script. Okay, for example, we wanted to configure it, you can type it here git. If you see here, git is can. Remember when you are configuring here, when you are configuring here, this all the plugins, whatever options you are seeing here, right? It means already the plugins is already installed. Okay, git is already installed, that is the reason we are able to view. Okay. Here, repository URL. What is the repository URL? This is the URL, right? I'm going to take this URL. Yeah, code, HTTPS, I'm copied. 
and you can put it here sorry here okay now branch what is the branch name branch name is our uh, branch is master right so master okay master next one credentials you have to provide the credentials remember this repository is public that's why you don't want to provide the credentials but in case if it is private you have to provide how you can provide click add jenkins you have to define username with password and you can define once you're done you can add it then you can able to view here but currently our repository is public so I, i'm not providing any credentials okay now you can include the polling and include the change log just generate if you generate you can get that particular if you generate you can get that particular command okay you, you can copy this one and you can declare inside the steps directly okay inside the steps option you can declare directly if you remember this is a public that's why you are seeing only one option okay in case it is private repository you have to you can get like credentials id as well what i'm doing here i will set up the credentials id as well let's see now if you see here we have i have added that your uh, credentials github credentials take this one and, and you can generate it if you observe here it is added the credentials id as well that credential id name is github underscore username password okay copy this one currently it is public so you don't require to declare but when it is private you should be uh, declare that credentials as well okay what is that git credentials id this is a global name if you go to the global name you will be get idea go to here Go to the manage Jenkins. Okay, here we have a manage credential. If you see here the name GitHub underscore username password, right? That same ID will be here. This is the unique ID will be there. If you come here, the ID also same. It means inside this particular global tool credential, it contains the username and token of that particular GitHub. Okay, and the URL GitHub URL. Got it right? Now what I'm doing here? Apply save. Now I'm going to build this now. Let's see what will happen. What will happen? If you see here, we have given that uh, stage name is clone the repository, right? That's why we, we got here. And if you see here, total how much time will take? One second is two. What, what will do this particular uh, repository? Okay, what will do this one? Stay, stay, it will be clone the repository. If you go to here, now if you observe here, it is cloning the repository. It is cloning the repository. When everything is fine, then it is successful. Successful, completed, okay? Got it right? Next step. What is the next step? I'm going to configure the build tool. Okay. I want to build the code. How can do? For that one, I'm copying same two stages. Uh, stages. I'm declaring here. Enter. Now I'm 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 replacing here instead of uh, clone the repository. I'm replacing build the code. Okay. Then you can remove this one also. Fine. Now what I'm doing here? Here I'm declaring the MVN SS command. Remember, MVN is a uh, command, right? If you want to run Linux server, you have a SH space, double single quotation. You can declare MVN, MVN, clean, install. I'm not using the deploy later part. I will use the deploy instead of install. Now, what I'm going to show you here, I want to show you the build tool, build the code. How you can build it? SH command I'm using. SH command is nothing but shell script. It will be run the particular command. Shell command, it will be run. Okay. Are you right? Now, if you see here, why it is throwing the error? This clone, okay, clone, close, close, okay, fine. Save it, apply. Let's see. Okay, now I'm going to build the code now. Let's see what will happen. Now, build, thought build is failed. The reason is, if you observe here, we have given expecting closing. Closing, it is missed out. That is the reason it is throwing the error. Line number is 20, okay? Open this again, configure. Okay, come down. Line number 20, you have to give the closing guard, okay? When I have given, let's see, save it, uh, save, apply. Now I'm going to build now. Let's see what will happen. Now build is failed. Earlier, oh, stages, okay, okay, we give, it looks like wrong. I'm going to configure. Let me review here. Stages, stage, this is done. This one, this is completed. Oh, you, you uh, as I said, if you remember, stages is only one stages inside and enter the pipeline, right? More than one stage, you can't declare, okay? I'm removing one more. If you, now, if you see here, it should be good. It is open, it is closed, and it is open, it is closed, okay? Fine, now I'm apply, save. Now, build now, click the build now. 
Now, if you see here, fifth one, what it is throw the error. Let me see what error it got. If you if you see here, now we are getting the MVN command not found. MVN command not found. If you remember, we will be we have to declare inside the inside the tools directory that the particular Maven. We were, whatever you declare inside the global tool configuration, that name we have to declare inside the pipeline Jenkins file. You have to declare the tools directory or tools option, right? I'm going to do it. That is the reason we got the error. What I'm doing here, uh, here in after agent, I'm giving here tools. Okay. Open, close. Okay. Open, close. Now I'm giving here Maven. What, which name we have given inside a uh, global tool configuration? We have given Maven iPhone, Maven iPhone, reader. 6.8, right? I'm going to show you now. Go to that uh, dashboard. Go to the manage engine. Go to the global tool configuration. Inside this global tool configuration, you can see that the Maven install. If you see here, we have given name, right? Maven 3.8.6. Same name you have to provide inside the inside tools, tools option. Okay, got it right? I have given same name. Now we can apply now. Save it. Now let's see what will happen. Build now. Now it is, it should be built. Oh, okay. Let's throw the error, whatever. Maven iPhone 3.6.8. Okay, something. Oh, sorry. Maven 3.8.6, not 6.8. Okay. I have given wrong. That's why it is throwing error. You have to give the exact name. I'm copying this one from here. Okay. You can give the same name there. Okay. Come down here. Here I'm giving. 3.6.8 I have given, but 3.8.6. Okay. I have given correct name. Apply now. Save it. Okay. Now we can click the bill now. Now if you see here, the bill is going on. Okay. Bill is going on. We have given MVN install, right? If you observe here, MVN clean install, right? That the, the step is going to run. Now if you see here, bill is successfully completed. Okay. Total how much time will take? 3.8.18 and second. Okay. What is it? This is the process of build the code through Jenkins pipeline. If you observe here, now you can see the steps or stages. How many stages we have? One is declare tools install. The reason is we have defined the tool tools section, right? It will become here. Okay. Next one is clone the repository. Next one is build the code. Okay. What about next step? I'm going to push this particular warpel to the artifact view. How we can do? So for that one, we have to configure, go to configure. Okay, come down here. I'm going to again uh, copying this uh, stage. I'm adding one more stage. Remember, open closes are very important. If you see here, this is the entire open close. This is entire open close. Here, what I'm what I'm going to give here the stage name is uh, push to Nexus artifact. Okay. Next, here I'm removing this one. We don't require. Now we need to declare the Nexus related command here, right? How you can do? If you are not aware, no worries. We have a pipeline syntax, right? Go to pipeline syntax. Here you can search with Nexus. Okay, Nexus. If you see here, Nexus publisher. If you remember, when if you are seeing this command here, it means you already installed the plugin and also you have already configured the particular Nexus related uh, uh, URLs and authentication details inside the configure system. Okay. Select this one. Now, if you see here, here it is coming the Nexus instance. What is the Nexus, Nexus instance we have given? Inside the configure system, we have given Nexus iPhone 3, right? It will be visible here. Uh, what is the repository we have? We have total two repositories, Maven iPhone snapshot and Maven iPhone releases. Okay. If you see here, go to that uh, setting. Okay. Go to the repositories. Here we can able to see Maven releases and Maven snapshots. Okay. Those two or visible link. Might be you will get that why we are not seeing other thing. Other thing won't be see. It will be display only snapshot related stuff only there. Okay. That is right. In case if you create your customized one, you can able to view here. But currently we have only two right default one. Maven FN snapshot and Maven FN releases. But in our project, our project is Maven FN snapshot right. Select this one. Under tag not required. Packages. Add package. Maven packages. Here you have to provide the group ID. What is the group ID? The group ID is, if you go to the palm.xml, you will get here. Okay. Here, if you see here, the group ID is com.techworld with murli. Okay. Com.techworld with murli, you have to provide here. Yeah. Next one, artifact ID. Artifact, what is the artifact ID? Artifact ID is web by phone application. Okay. What is the version? Version is, what is the version? Version is 1.0 iPhone snapshot. Okay. Copy this. Paste here. 
and next one uh, packaging which uh, which will uh, what will be generate this one it will be generate war file right if you see here packaging it will be generate war file okay you can you have to give the war and the next artifacts okay maven artifact click this one you have to provide the path where it will be stored that well, for that one what i'm doing here you can go to this uh, logs okay you can open this go to the log you can try with dot war file okay war file it will be stored in inside the valid jenkins workspace the particular job name and target we have to provide this entire path okay i'm going to provide this entire path let's see i have provided here okay well and good now what i'm doing here i'm generating now okay earlier it was uh, git right that's why it is showing git one i'm generate pipeline now we are able to see the nexus publisher okay you have to copy this one and you have to paste inside job level okay before going to do we can see nexus publisher nexus instance id whatever we given inside the config system that name and nexus repository id maven snapshot and packages related information and also we have a group id artifact id information and also packaging whether it is jar or var and also we have a version which version it is a snapshot everything we can configure here okay and here we have given uh, given that, that particular war file path where it will be stored that particular war file war file is, is it is available in parallel jenkins workspace that particular project uh, job name inside the job name it will be generate the target right inside the target it will be available the war file okay just copy this one and you can come to here you can paste here okay i pasted here okay now what remember this command should be pasted inside the steps option okay now we can apply save it now we can see build now let's see what will happen come down first it will be install then yeah mv install is going on next it will be deploy but remember here we given yeah if you remember here we have given only mv install we have to give the mv deploy right that's why it is throwing the error here okay throwing the error for 400 because we have defined the nexus but we haven't declared that mvn deploy command right that is the reason we got in we got the 400 error what you have to do open edit configure here inside this build session okay inside this particular build session instead of install you have to do the deploy you have to do the deploy option okay now apply save now we can click the build now now you can see now it won't be throw the error related to that one it may uh, break that particular, uh, it may issue. Yeah, if you see here, we got the failure. The reason is, if you remember earlier, I said, right, we are getting the 401 authentication error. Even though we are declaring correct credentials, we are getting the 401. Might be the, what I'm thinking, might be we are using current Jenkins version and Nexus version, might be not compatible, or we are using Nexus is a open source, right? Might be it is not properly working. Okay, that is the reason we are getting the 401. You, you, you guys also try for different versions. You can try. If it is working, please let me know. I can re-upload another, another video for related to this one. But the main intention is you understand right how you can configure. That is the main important. Okay. Some of Sometimes what will happen, if you use the open source, it may break your uh, things. It won't be work properly. But the main intention of this video is you have to understand how we will be set up. Okay. And one more thing, remember, inside the palm.xml, you have to declare the distribution management. Okay. I already declared the Nexus related distribution snapshot and release. Okay. Remember here in this particular IP address, it will be changed. Okay. From your end, you have to update this IP addresses inside the palm.xml. Okay. I hope you understand it. Any question? And one more thing, when you are writing initially, you can use this uh, pipeline syntax. Okay. You can use this pipeline syntax here we, if you see here snapshot the snippet generator using this snippet generator we can get uh, you can write your own script easily okay when you are writing initially you can use this one but remember in interview level don't say i use snippet generator write the script don't say this type of things okay you have to tell them like yes i have written the script okay got it right if you have any question feel free to comment thanks for watching this video we will see you next video Okay.